Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today is day 26 of 3D Printmas. That's right, we've crossed the Christmas mark. We are now in the last five or six days of Printmas. And today I've got another something pretty interesting. Now this does fit in with a lot of my other models because it is a character of sorts, but it kind of comes from a different source. It's not even really a TV show or a video game or anything. Um, it's more of a mascot and that is Bug Droid. And um, I'm sure you guys are aware of this, even if you're an iPhone user. Um, this is sort of the mascot for the Droid operating system. Now, I actually did not even know his name, but it turns out the people that worked on the Android operating system called this guy Bug Droid because um, they felt like they were always chasing down bugs with the operating system. So it was a fitting name. And I'm a software developer myself, um, so that idea kind of resonated with me. And I've always thought this guy was pretty cool looking. Okay, so let's talk about how I made this. Um, I created this in Fusion 360, and now there was, there's a, quite a few ways you can go about creating something like this, and I kind of took the um, work smarter instead of harder approach on this one. So I actually found an image of him that was directly straight on, so it was the perfect outline of what he is, and he's very cylindrical in shape. So I um, actually converted that to an SVG file, um, imported it into Fusion 360, it took half of it and revolved it around. So I actually didn't even trace it, nothing. I took it directly from an image and then I cut the arms and the legs in half and did the exact same thing there. And then I just went through and added some details like the little antlers here, the eyeballs, and then I added in some pins to connect the arms because normally on Bug Droid the arms are just floating but obviously I couldn't do something like that. And then you guys probably can't see it, but there's a little pin on the inside of the head. Um, I had my wife glue everything in place, but if you're printing this for yourself, you don't have to glue it, and that way the head can turn and the arms can rotate as well. So then after I was done printing this out, I sent it with my wife and she did all the post-processing on it. She sanded it up quite a bit, used some filler primer to get rid of most of the um, layer lines and make those less visible. Then she used a paintbrush with acrylic paints to paint it this green color. And then beyond that, she um, painted the eyeballs on with black acrylic paint. Then she actually painted the inner sides of both the head and the body black um, to kind of sort of give it a darker appearance in there and make it look more like Bug Droid actually does. And then of course she glued everything and for that I think she just used normal um, super glue or Gorilla Glue. And that gives us what we're looking at here. Um, I'm really interested to see what you guys think of this. Most of the people that I've talked to about this know what Bug Droid is, they don't know his name. Um, and they're pretty indifferent about it, but, but most of the people that I can interact with around here aren't nearly as into um, some of the more nerdy things that I am. And I know that the internet is willing to indulge me on those, so I'm pretty excited to see what your guys' um, response to this is. Okay guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Links to the files are down in the description as always. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and get subscribed if you liked this. And that's it for day 26 of 3D Printmas. Only gonna get better from here, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.